Good evening, Stephen here. It's a wee bit late tonight, but it cleared up, and I'm currently looking at the star Betelgeuse, defocused. So I've defocused the camera so you can see quite clearly the colour in Betelgeuse. And I thought maybe I would do a little series on interesting stars. Betelgeuse, of course, is the top left star in Orion. And the name, I believe, means Armpit of the Great One. Uh, the Great One, of course, being the prominent hunter figure of Orion in the night sky. So I hope you can appreciate here the orange-red colour. And because I've defocused the star, that is much clearer, but naked eye, you should be able to see uh, Betelgeuse as an orange, amber, red colour. And that's because it is a red giant star. In fact, it's a red supergiant. It has a surface temperature of about 3000 Kelvin, so it's considerably cooler than our own star and much cooler than the blue white stars that you see predominantly in some of the close clusters that are maybe burning at 10,000 to 12,000 Kelvin. So the way to think about the colour of the stars is to think about the blacksmith's iron as you insert it into the heat. Um, at lower temperatures the metal burns orange and then as the metal gets hotter it goes up to yellow and then eventually you get into white and blue light. Now, Betelgeuse is about 450 light years away, and it's absolutely massive. So it has a radius 650 times larger than our own sun, which is hard to imagine. And if you think about the volume of that star then, well, the volume of a sphere is 4 thirds pi r cubed, so imagine cubing 650, multiplying by pi, you get an enormous number. And therefore, many millions of our suns could fit inside Betelgeuse. In fact, if you introduced Betelgeuse into our solar system, it would completely engulf all the inner planets of the solar system. So Mercury, Venus, Earth would be inside the star and its outer radius would extend about halfway to the distance of Jupiter. So an unbelievably huge star, and of course it's a red supergiant because it's currently going through its last throes of death. It has run out of hydrogen, it's fusing heavier elements, and its core has compressed down and it's blown the outer envelope of the star's atmosphere outwards and that's cooled and that's why it has this duller red hue and that's a fate that awaits many stars uh, when they near the end of their life. So there we go. Betelgeuse is also one of the few stars to have been directly imaged and mapped so it's so big and so vast that we can actually see some of the temperature gradients on its surface. So there we go, there is Betelgeuse, always fascinating to look at. Uh, and that is at the top left of Orion. I'm going to keep this live stream fairly short, but I might do another one on Rigel um, another night. But I hope you get some clear skies, and thank you very much for tuning in.